Hi Scorpio, this is your April 8th through the 14th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is going to be new love coming into your life this week. Spread number two is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. In the third spread we'll see people from the past. Spread number four is work, business and finances. And uh, we'll wrap things up with the fifth spread which is what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have Death, clarified by the Fool. Then we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Three of Wands. We also have the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Devil. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune with the Chariot and the Hierophant. And uh, we have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Taurus, Gemini, <laughs> Virgo, or any Zodiac sign. Wow, Scorpio, this is just wow. I was just sitting here and looking at uh, this spread, and here's what I think you're about to do. At some point during this week, you will go through some kind of a thought process, and uh, your decision will be, you know what, why not? Why not? Why don't I move forward with this? So I assume you will have somebody coming your way, somebody who wants to move forward with you, or perhaps even before this week, somebody made you an offer, somebody was all over you, but you're like, you know what, I'm not so sure if this is a good idea. Or perhaps this is against your own rules, it's against maybe the way you were brought up, against your culture, something about that. All right, but this week you'll be like, you know what, why not? Why not live a little? <laughs> okay, that's how I see this. That's how I see this, Scorpio. We start with you, Death. The first card I came out, that's you, that's your major arcana card. And that's the card we start with. And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own reading. And I think this is you call, calling this shot. This is you making up your mind. This is you making this decision. All right, this is you, it's all you. The Fool clarifying that could be an Aries, you know, but the Fool, you're just going for it. You're taking a leap of faith, you're taking a risk, because why not? <laughs> right, the Ace of Swords clarified by the Three of Wands, it's the same thing what I just said. The Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, it's a card of a decision, it's a very decisive energy. The Three of Wands clarifying that, this is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and after that there is no turning back. Then we have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Devil, all right? The Devil could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but the Devil could be a card of temptation. Temptation. Or this is you feeling this unnatural pull towards this person, and perhaps in the beginning you sort of kind of resisted it, but this week you're going to be like, you know what, I'm just going to do it. You know what, I'm just going to go for it. Right? The Nine of Cups is a card of a personal satisfaction, fulfillment. It could be a card of a party, you know, some kind of an event, gathering of some sort. And it's also a card of a wish come true. Okay? Yeah? The Magician on the bottom of the deck, maybe this is the person you're dealing with. It could be either a Gemini or a Virgo you're dealing with. But the Magician is a card of somebody who is manifesting and it's also a card of who takes action. So perhaps this person will try different ways to get your interest. To, you know, perhaps they're gonna try one thing and then they're gonna try another thing because the magicians got all the tools they need at their disposal and they're not afraid to use those tools, right? So they may send you flowers, they may send you a funny picture, <laughs> they may ask you out, they may do this, they may do that, you know, send you a basket with muffins, <laughs> whatever. But uh, eventually they will, they will get through to you, <laughs> okay? A very persistent individual. In the potential outcome, every single card is a major arcana card. Every single one of them, right? The Will of Fortune, the Chariot, and the Hierophant. You know, the Will of Fortune could be in multiple zodiac signs. I usually go with a Sagittarius. Uh, the Chariot could be a Cancer, the Hierophant could be a Taurus. But if we want to look at those cards in general and forget what that they mean, particular zodiac signs, this is marriage, right there. Marriage, commitment, and uh, victory, okay? Maybe you're relocating at some point in the future with the chariot card, but it is a card of victory. It is a card of moving forward and not looking back. And this whole thing, this whole spread is moving forward and not looking back, not caring anymore, right? The Wheel of Fortune is taking it to the next level and starting a cycle in the next level up. It's a very fortunate card. Then the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. 
Scorpio. So yeah, this looks awesome. You just going for it this week, you not caring what other people say, you forgetting your own rules or forgetting the way you were brought up. Uh, this definitely leads to commitment. This looks awesome, Scorpio. <laughs> really happy for you. Congratulations. If you are already married or in a relationship, Scorpio, uh, this part is for you. We have uh, the Queen of Cups clarified by the Seven of Cups, then we have Judgment, the Knight of Wands, and uh, the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire sign, Aries, or Sagittarius. Well, Scorpio, I can interpret this a couple of completely different ways. Okay, for some of you in scenario number one, you could be looking at options, and then you're going to make a judgment call to move forward with one of them. And I'm sure you will be, you'll be able to convince <laughs> your significant other. For others of you, you may have an ex trying to get back together with you, trying to get something going on the side with you. Okay, you, that would be scenario number two. Okay, so you got to be careful when it comes to people from the past because we are right in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. All right, then that person from the past could be a fire sign or it's a player. This person is a player and I think you know it. If you didn't know, now you know. All right, so th those are the two scenarios. We start with you, the Queen of Cups. That's you. You're clarified by the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is either a card of you having multiple choices, multiple options in front of you, or it could be your judgment being clouded. You know, you having options, that would be with the, uh, that's, that goes with scenario number one, and uh, your judgment could be a little bit clouded, and this goes for scenario number two. Okay, judgment in the middle is either you making a judgment call because now you know which of the options you want to move forward with and the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, it could be your energy now that you know what you want, you're going to move forward with it. You're going to get super excited about this. Or, you know, judgment is somebody from the past, coming back from the past and the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands is the person, which is a player. That's, that's scenario number two. Okay, let me know how this plays out for you. All right? Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Also, keep in mind, uh, Mercury is definitely in retrograde right now. This is when more Xs than usual could potentially resurface. So, got the Three of Cups, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Ones, clarified by the um, Nine of Ones, and we have the Three of Ones on the bottom of the deck. So, we have three threes on the table. It's it's definitely a third party situation. Whoever is coming back to you this week, they already have somebody. They already do. Okay? They already have somebody. For sure. 100%. And I think you, you, you may know it yourself. Because I see you fighting this person off. Uh, you're standing your ground. You're putting your foot down with those seven of ones clarified by the nine of ones right next to the deck. I think this is your energy. You just don't want to get hurt. Because the nine of ones is a card of a wounded warrior. It's a card of, um, Somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and uh, the person they're dealing with. And the Three of Swords is a card of a broken heart. It's a card of feeling stabbed in the back. It's a third party situation. And uh, the Three of Cups, the first card, definitely a third card party situation. Especially with the Three of Swords and another three here. So be careful who comes back this week. They already have somebody. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Scorpio. This week we have the Queen of Cups, the Five of Wands, uh, the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the uh, Page of Swords, and we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. It's one of those spreads that I usually refer to as to be continued. All right, so this week you will be fighting for something, uh, competing for something, but I don't think there will be a resolution before the end of this week. It, there, it could be, but I just, I don't see it, right? At the end, we have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Swords. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of waiting, and what you're waiting for is the Page of Swords, which is a message, or a judgment, okay? You could be in court fighting another person, another company, or you could be going to interviews, and uh, perhaps there's other people competing for the same position. If you run your own business, you could be competing with other companies, or something like that. The five of ones right next to the Queen of Cups. It is a card of uh, conflict or most likely competition. Okay, competing for the same thing. And uh, what's on the table is the Wheel of Fortune, right? The Wheel of Fortune is the start of some kind of a cycle. So for some of you, it's a new job. For others of you, it's a new contract, a new something. All right. Um, yeah. Let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. All right.
Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Scorpio. We have um, the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. We also have the Six of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Then we have Death, clarified by the Empress. And uh, we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or absolutely any Zodiac sign. Uh, this, what you're not expecting is uh, you'll be dealing with somebody you already know. Okay? And... Uh, it could be an X, but it's not the same X as we saw in the X spread. It could be somebody, another X, <laughs> hence the Mercury retrograde. Or it doesn't even have to be about love, right? It could be friendship, work, business, finances related, right? So what you're not expecting is somebody um, admitting they made a mistake in, in the past. And now they're ready to either compensate you or to bury the hatchet with you or to... Uh, bring this connection back to normal, okay? It almost feels like crime and punishment. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you've ever read Crime and Punishment. It, 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 for whatever reason, it kind of reminded me of that. <laughs> All right? So some you will be hearing from somebody, and they will be telling you, you know what, back in the day or back when it happened, I made a mistake, and, I'm, and I've been regretting it ever since. All right? I, they may compensate you. Right? If it has something to do with work, money, or finances in some shape or form, they may want to compensate you in some shape or form. Okay? Death, right next to the deck, is clarified by uh, the Empress. You know, death is your major iconic card, and as I was clarifying uh, death, I simply asked how will uh, Scorpio feel about this. You'll feel like the Empress. Yeah, awesome. You'll feel really good. <laughs> the Empress is somebody who is very calm. You know, the Empress does not require an introduction. Everybody knows who the Empress is. The Empress is sitting back on their throne, very relaxed. You know, the Empress is very confident and very loving and very giving, by the way. All right? And uh, the star on the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a card of healing. Okay? So, I think you will forgive this person. You don't have to if you don't want to, but from what I see here, I think you will. All right, Scorpio, <laughs> one interesting reading for this week. So that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.